What's up, Greenwood traders? We are back with another day of trading. Um, took some small profits today, so we want to get right into what we traded. Uh, now, uh, Oriental Culture Holding Ltd. Now, this company is a company that uh, it's based out of China. They do uh, art trading and things like that online. So. They got some news. We always talk about the catalyst. What is the catalyst? Uh, Oriental Cultural shares of trading give her recent increased interest in non fungible tokens. This is this operates an online platform for artwork. So now we're looking at a catalyst. Regardless of what it is, the market is reacting positively to it. Now we always talk about volume. Okay. What is the volume doing? It's been growing each day. It's been growing each each day since it hit a low. Now, again, we always want to trade these breakout stocks, but start looking at stocks who are the biggest losers, stocks that are on support, stocks that are on bottoms, okay? Now, whenever you find a stock down here, you don't have to worry about, okay, holding a bag when you're buying up here. This is the most important thing that amateurs do. They buy high and sell low instead of buying low and sell high, okay? When you figure out that these bottoms and these stocks that are on discounts, even if let's say you wait, let's say you wait uh, a month and a half, you get this stock uh, at four dollars, and, and let, let's let's say it goes down, you got your stop in, you get stopped out, you buy right back when it hits the bottom, buy on the first the first move up, the first day it it, it even looks like it's reversing, look at how much better shape you're in at two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. All the way to nine versus when you're buying when everybody's talking about these stocks on Twitter they're talking about how much is running how big it's up and then you're left holding a $30 bag $25 bag okay you don't want to do this so make sure you're buying on bottoms buying close to support buying at all-time lows those types of things HJLI this is one of our biggest trades this is one of our bigger swings you know, I drew trend lines before. Now you get all time low of 528. You get, you get a low here of 560. Where do you think you, our money should be going in? We want to be putting our money in up, up, on the bottoms. Look at support and resistance. Support was right here at seven dollars. Every time it pulls back to the seven dollar level, right here, you get a pop to 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 around eleven or twelve dollars. Pulls back to the seven dollar level again, it pops to twenty. Pulls back to the seven dollar level again, it pops to around eighteen. Now we're back in the sevens. What do you think this is going to do? We want our money to go in right here. Okay. Hopefully, uh, this stock can run tomorrow. Uh, it popped quite a bit after hours, but I just want to allow you to see how and why we're putting our money in, what the philosophy is. Okay, Jill. Never let us down. We've tripled our money on Jill twice and just made a trade. Now, I was tweeting. I was tweeting about Jill um, Friday. Uh, we got in Jill because they're reporting now. Uh, we took profits. March 12th, I was talking about Jill. Okay. Hey, this is this is my go-to. This is like my secret weapon. This, this stock right here always wants me to make money, it seems like. So, I got in at 4 dollars it's important. Look, look where I got in. Four ninety five. Okay. So it's almost five dollars. Start moving up off this bottom. Now where's support at? Support is down here. It looks like in the in the four dollar area. So again, even though I'm not buying on support, I'm buying when the stock is starting to move. Look at the downside. I'm risking maybe a dollar. Maybe a dollar. I'm, I'm not even risking that because the support was right here around 44. So I'm risking 50 cents. The stock runs to $7 today. Okay. So I'm risking 50 cents. I'm not even risking that because I have a stop in. Make sure you use stop losses. Okay. Make sure you put your stops in. Okay. All right. So I'm I was risking, you know, 25 to 50 cents. To end up getting two dollars, which I end up getting. Okay, we bought in at four ninety-five. We sold at six uh, seventy-one. That's almost two dollar trade, which was a thirty-three percent profit. Okay, hey, not bad. 
get a big position you only need a few solid trades per week one great trade per month heck one great trade per year you know look at look look at how a stock like tsnp can change basically your financial track okay you're looking at a stock that was below a penny all the way up to uh they did a reverse split but you know a, a, a stock that's you know it was in triple zeros and then it went to two dollars all right this can change your life now we're looking at another stock that might be a really big runner and we want to uh hold long and strong in this stock what is the stock i'm t talking about i'm i'm I, and before i give it to you i want you to know that look you know we are in this to make money we're in it to make money and we want to maximize okay it doesn't mean we trade reckless it doesn't mean we don't trade smart but we want to maximize if we get in, in a good entry and the stock is solid okay that means we want to make sure we want to make sure that we stick with as long as long as it's making us money okay take profits you know if you want to but you know when you're looking at a stock like this okay and, and you get in a good entry and, and you get a nice run up. You don't want to miss this move here. Okay. You don't want to miss this move. So what we're doing right now, uh, the stock that I'm telling you about is called I know the suspense was about to get to you. Um, the stock that we're talking about is EEE. -E -E. Well, let's talk about MDMP first. MDMP. Look at how this stock ran. Big burst of volume. And you'll notice, you'll notice the first time that this that these stocks get volume, they can have some follow through. You want to be in on these days, okay? Let's look at what it did the last few days. This stock just started running out of nowhere like it was on a ramp, okay? So it ramped up, pulled back, cup and handle, and now you go from you go from a seven cent stock. This is this is this is a seven a seven cent stock. Okay, I'm sorry, a two cent stock. You go from a two cent stock that runs all the way up to ninety four cents. That's amazing. Okay. Now E E E N F E E N F. Look at where the stock is. Okay, we keep making higher highs. There's one higher high. There's another higher high. There's another higher high. We keep getting the volume. If we continue to stay with this volume, we are going to break the bank. Okay, but we have to stay with this volume. Look at this. Look at this volume level now. Right now, this is the breakout level. It, it's it's struggling to break into the threes. Okay, it it hit three and pulled back below. So where's resistance? Resistance is going to be right here. Okay, once it breaks this level. Four hours once it breaks this level then we can run we can roll okay all right so I had some good trades a couple trades fell off uh, this was on our watch list but we did manage to make money on it uh, we weren't in the trade personally but we're making money from the time we alerted it uh, 3871 and this stock sold off really bad that's why it's good to take profits that's why it's good to be patient if you feel like the stock is is not done moving all right we're trying to get into these plays that are going to be significant you know and make you a bunch of money okay so just make sure that you are um that you're tuned that you study up that you stay focused on the market so that you can make these 10 baggers these 1000 percent runners and beyond please like share subscribe sign up for coaching if you need it and we will see you on the green side. God bless.